Welcome to video number two of this series, looking at music theory for grade five um, and preparing us for that A-level music course. Last time we looked at the key caterpillar to figure out all the keys and key signatures. Today we're going to look at that the more traditional circle of fifths. I have my circle here and now I'm going to divide it up and use it as a tool to work out our different keys major and minor and the order of the sharps and flats okay so let's just divide up our circle um, like a clock so we'll have 12 o'clock up here we'll have six o'clock over here we'll have three o'clock and nine o'clock and then we'll have our in between so one o'clock two o'clock four o'clock five o'clock seven o'clock eight o'clock ten o'clock eleven o'clock so there's 12 points on your circle, exactly like a clock, okay? Because there's essentially 12 semitones in an octave. Right, so on top of a year, we'll start at C major. Now, C major has no sharps and flats, and that's what you need to remember. You need to remember that your start is C. Once we have your start, we are good to go. So we have C. Now let's call this um, circle of fifths because we are going this way. When we go clockwise, we are going adding five. And when we're going counterclockwise, we are going backwards. Counterclockwise would be minus five. And what does this all mean? Well, Again, I'm just going to pop my letter names here. As I said in the last video, we just have those seven letter names. A, B, C, D, E, F, and G. Okay. Those are my seven letter names. And those are the only um, notes that we can add sharps and flats to. So therefore, the key that has the most sharps would be the key with seven sharps and the key with that has the most flats would be the key with seven flats because we only have those seven letter names to deal with so let's get started on our circle of fifths we started at c so we have to count up five from c to get us to our first key and that's our sharp key with one sharp so it'll be c d e f g that'll be g major and we're going up five again so g major is that one that's at one o'clock and then our next key is g a b c d so it's d major has two sharps d e f g a a major has three sharps a b c d e e major has four sharps e f g a b b major has five sharps B, C, D, E, F sharp, and yeah, at six o'clock, it's F sharp, and then seven sharps, F, G, A, B, C, E, C sharp. So there's nowhere else to go with our sharps. We have all seven sharps, and it's stopped at seven o'clock, because that's seven sharps. So G major has one sharp, D major has two sharps, a major has three sharps, E major has four sharps, B major has five sharps, F sharp major has six sharps, and C sharp major has seven sharps. So those are all the keys with sharps. Now, if we want to work out the flat keys, we're going to have to go anti-clockwise, and we're going to have to minus five, and then we're going to go backwards. So let's see how that works. So from C going backwards, we're going C, B, A, G, F. So our first key with just one flat is F major. As we go around, we go F, E, D, C, B flat. B, A, G, F, E flat. So I'm just going backwards by five. And starting at E, E, D, C, B, A flat. 
and now we have this weird thing happening over here we already have a seven o'clock so we're going to look at this in a second going back from from a it's a g f e d flat d flat and c sharp is at the same position and then we have f not f we're going from d d c b a g flat and next to f sharp we have g flat they those share the same position and then finally g f e d c flat and c flat and b major c share the same position now the reason why it's getting a bit messy at the bottom over there is simply because d flat and this is something that you won't get on the key caterpillar and that you do get in, in on your circle of fifths is that d flat and c sharp if we go to our keyboard d flat and c sharp c sharp d flat it's the same note so they are enharmonic equivalents so essentially if you write it something in c sharp major and you write something in d flat major they're going to sound the same because you're playing essentially the same notes however c sharp and d flat major are two different keys one has seven sharps and one has five flats however they do sound the same and that's the same with f sharp and g flat and b and c flat and that's those are called enharmonic equivalents i will deal enharmonic equivalents in a later video right so we've worked out all our major keys we have seven sharp keys and we have seven flat keys okay so that's f major has one flat um and b flat major has two flats now we need to work out the minors so i'm going to do it in the inner circle what we can do with the minors is just count hop down three from the major okay so i'm just going to go like that and i'm going to just say minus three so three from the major c b a three from the major g f e d c b a g f sharp E D C sharp B D G sharp F E D sharp and finally A sharp. Okay, so all I've done was go three down from the major and I worked out my relative minor. And relative minor means that they share the same key signature. So B minor and D major both have one, two sharps, um, and it's F sharp and, and C sharp, but they share the same key signature. We can do the same now with our, our flat keys, and that'll be the same. Let's count three down from that is F, E, D, G, C, F, B flat. G F E flat and A flat. Okay, so we have a couple of enharmonics over here at the bottom as well um, in our minor keys. So that is basically it. That is your circle of fifths. If you go clockwise, all you need to do is count up five, and that will get you to your seven keys with sharps. When you want to get your flat keys, you go down five counterclockwise, you go down five, and then you go up to seven keys with flats. At the bottom over here, we have keys that sound exactly the same. We have mnemonic keys, which have D flat and C sharp, which is in, in the exact same note. And then the same with G flat and F sharp. Do understand that there are two different keys. So if you write it in theory, we're talking about written um, music and we, we, we're analyzing music. So you do see six sharps. That's F sharp major 
it's not G flat major because G flat major has six sharps although they will sound exactly the same now if you missed the first um, video with the key caterpillar in terms of what those sharps are it's pretty much the same saying is father Charles so if I want to know what the order of the sharps are because on my circle of fifths I know that a major has one two three sharps but what are those sharps and the way to do that is to learn a little saying and that is father Charles goes down and ends battle. Okay, so our order of sharps is F C G D A E B. Father Charles goes down and ends battle. How does that work? Well, if we look at our circle of fifths and we look at E major, E major has one, two, three, four sharps. We say, well, E major has four sharps. Fantastic. What are those sharps? What's the key signature? Well, the key signature is F, C, G, and D. F, C, G, and D. Four sharps. Um, now, the wonderful thing about Father Charles is that we can do it in reverse, and that will be the order of our flats. So we just reverse that bad boy and what does that say it will then be battle ends and down goes charles's father he's gone down which is ever so sad poor charles's father the battle has ended and he goes down does he go down down goes Charles's father. So battle ends and down goes Charles's father. How does this all work? Again, if we look at our circle of fifths, if we're looking at this really messy part at the, the bottom over here, D flat major, D flat major has one, two, three, four, five flats. So it's wonderful. D flat major has five flats. What are the flats? What is the key signature for that? Well, the flats are five flats is B, E, A, D, and G. That is your circle of fifths. That's all your keys, your major and your minor keys. We have Father Charles, reverse that bad boy, and we'll know our order of our flats and what they are. Thank you for listening.